Welcome back to The Refrigerator. Today's special guests are my sister Hallie and her roommate Lucas, and they live in Brooklyn, New York. Hello everybody, I'm very excited to be here today reading one of my favorite books called Giraffes Can't Dance. So let's just hop right on in and get started. Giraffes Can't Dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance and this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor and the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought, I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket who had seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing around. He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who had been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. And that is Giraffes Can't Dance. Again, one of my favorite books. And for our drawer drawing portion of today's activity, I'm going to bring out my friend, Mr. Lucas, to help us draw a fun little giraffe. Hi, everyone. Let's scoot you in there. Let's do this. All right, Lucas, where do we start? All right, so we're gonna draw the giraffe <laughs> using entirely letters from the alphabet. Yay! So to start, we're gonna start by drawing two letter W's. So we're gonna want to make the W's closer to the bottom of the page, and we're gonna wanna make them nice, tall, and skinny W's. And then just a little further away, you can draw your second W. Great. So next, we're going to draw a U, and we're going to draw it upside down, and we're going to use it to connect the two W's in the center of your page. Next, 
we're gonna draw two letter I's, and we're gonna draw two lowercase I's, which are just two little straight lines with dots on top. The first one you're gonna connect to the other side of your W, so you're gonna draw one tall letter I, and then right next to it, you can draw another lowercase I. Mine is really tall. That's all right. Giraffes come in all different shapes and sizes. Yes, they do. Now we're gonna finish off the body and we're gonna do that by drawing the letter S. And we're gonna draw our S sideways and we're gonna connect it from this point all the way to this point here. So we're gonna draw one letter S. Wow. Oop. All right. Next, we're gonna draw the letter O and we're gonna draw a sideways O and we're gonna want it to touch the tops of our two eyes here and form a circle right around the two oh. dots. Just like that. So those are the, the nose. Those are our little nostrils right here, the two I points see. of the eye. And then we're gonna draw an upside down U right on top of that to finish off our giraffe's head. And then you can add your own details. You can add little eyes, you can give him ears, you can give him his little knobbies. Little knobs on the top of his head. How do you draw the ears? I like to draw them like little leaf shapes. So they're just like two little curved lines. My giraffe looks very worried. So <laughs> And then you can go in and you can add all the rest of the details to your giraffe. Give him spots. So you can give him his spots. You can make your spots any pattern that you want to. If you want to give him or her stars or little heart-shaped spots mm. instead of just regular spots, that's totally cool. A little tail, so a little line out, and my what? hips kind of look like little jazz shoes. Jazz shoes. Can give him a little tail. I want mine to have some spots on its face. Huh. And maybe let's um set the scene. Give the giraffe some trees to eat. I'm gonna color mine in. We got some colored pencils here. I used a blue Sharpie, but that's okay. You should be thankful. You should be willing now. There is no need to cry. And there you have it, my friends. We have two different beautiful giraffes. Look really nice. They look really great. I'm so happy with them. I hope you had fun drawing your giraffes. And learning about Gerald the giraffe. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy and you keep on reading and drawing because I've loved watching or seeing all of your artwork. Have a great day. All right, bye. Sing for me pretty